Today we are making no oil puff puff. Yes, I'll be making puff puff without frying. In essence, baked puff puff. Before you judge, please watch till the end. So I have in this bowl my sifted flour. I'm going to go ahead and add in some sugar and my instant yeast. And then I'll give these three ingredients a mix first. The reason why is because I don't want my yeast to mix with my salt because it will kill it, okay? So the next ingredients I'll be adding are my salt and nutmeg, grated nutmeg, okay? And then I'll mix that also in so everything is well combined. So why did I decide to do baked puff puff? I wanted to experiment, okay? So let's see what the outcome is going to be. Now I went in with a bit of oil, some essence and warm water. So I added the oil because I felt like I didn't want the puff puff or to bed to get dry after it's out of the oven. So once the mixture is put together beautifully, I'll go ahead and cover it and leave it in a warm place to rise for about 40 minutes. So once the 40 minutes are up, I'll bring it out and then Remove some of the air bubbles from it, but not totally because you know that if we are frying it, it's the same procedure. We are not going to take out all the air from it, okay? So just a bit and then I'll go ahead and put my butter or my mixture into my muffin trays. So I used my muffin tray because it's what I had, but I'm sure we, you could find some, I don't know to call them muffin trays, which are round that you can use to obtain that very perfect round um, to bear or both fruits or puff puff shape that we all know when we fry okay so i put in the oven at 170 degrees celsius for 30 minutes and when they came out i decided to check on the baby last the small one it was super hot okay you can just see that it is very stretchy and then when i opened it like i was elated okay because it was so good fluffy on the inside with the slight crispiness on the outside, I was honestly pleasantly surprised. The truth is that they are slightly different from the fried ones, but these also work in a possibly a healthier version. Will I try this recipe again? Most definitely. Will I boycott the authentic fried one? Not at all. The way my boys downed this thing, I was shocked. So I hope you try this recipe. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below, share when you're done watching and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and keep blooming.